Welcome into SwasuAthletics.com. I'm John Little, alongside the head coach of the Swasu men's basketball team, Bob Battisti. We are previewing the men's basketball season. It is almost here. Can't believe it. And uh, Coach Battisti, your team coming off of some great success at the end of last year, uh, really did a nice job reloading. Talk about, uh, you know, I, I know we normally start with returners, and we'll obviously get to those guys. But since I've talked myself into a corner, what did you do in the recruiting aspect of things? I know you're excited about that as well. <laughs> well, let me, let me begin by uh, echoing what you said. We finished strong. We yeah. won four of our last five games. We had an opportunity to go into the conference tournament as an eight seed and, and upset the one. So we've kind of built on that momentum. Uh, but to answer your question, we, we brought in some, some good players. Uh, we got a senior transfer, Jawan Newman, who, uh, you know, he's 6'8", 6'9", got a lot of length, got, got a lot of skill around the basket, good finisher. He's a really good complement to Io. So we're, we're real pleased with him. Uh, Colin Jennings is a transfer from uh, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Played at Hare High School. Colin has stepped right in and, and really taken over that two-guard spot. He, He's really smart. He's a coach's son. He really knows how to play. He uh, he's quick. He's got athleticism. Can really shoot the ball from three point range and, and really plays hard. So we're we're really pleased with Colin. Uh, we've got a couple of freshmen we brought in. Uh, Wesley Franklin is really going to be a great player in time. I don't know if Wesley's quite there yet, but he's he's going to get there. And uh, Cooper Battisti. Is, is just a tough-minded kid. He's, a, he's not going to back down. He's going to fight you. Uh, so Coop's done a really good job. And my mind is, is escaping me. Who's our fifth? Marquise? Marquise, yeah. Mm -hmm. we got to talk about our point guard. <laughs> uh, I guess. Yeah, Mar Marquise has uh, got a lot of natural ability. I mean, got a great feel for the game, willing to learn. And uh, he's going to be a big, big factor for us at the point guard spot. Well, those are the guys that are new to the program this year, and uh, five quality add-ons. But coming off last year, you've got a good base uh, from last year's program. Three guys that started for you. You talked about Ijo and the, uh, Io, and you got uh, Meech as well. And then also coming back, uh, Martel Collins, a, a Great American Conference second-team All-Conference type player. And we've got four really good seniors. I mean, yeah. they have led from day one when since we started practice. Uh, they get it. They really understand what it takes. You know, Oliver Willis, Io Ojo, Michi Wells, and Martel Collins are, are we, we would not achieve the success we're going to achieve close without them four. Well, and the great thing is that uh, they've got uh, that year in your system and the, in the year to grow uh, because they've been in your system for a year. And, and really, um, when you think about it, you haven't had that opportunity is as much uh, with, uh, with 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 two-year guys to this point. Yeah, you had one or two a, a year ago, but uh, not uh, not the core of guys that you're going to have this season. How do you think that's going to help? Oh, tremendously. I mean, experience is huge, especially in this conference. And uh, we've got, you know, beginning my third year here, the most experience we've had in three years. You know, and we also got some some good red shirts. We we. Uh, had get a little bit of experience last year in Luke Llewellyn and, and Nick Shoemaker and, and then we got Garrett Hammonds back. So we, we've got eight guys back who've been around the block. You know, I, I always wonder how much can a coach at this point look at your team in the very, very early stages of practice and say, this is where we're going to be good and this is where we're going to struggle. Let's really start uh, honing in on this. How far have you gotten in that? Well, I mean, there's, I'm sure we got some weak areas we haven't discovered yet, uh, but we're, we're further along than we were last year, a lot further along. I mean, last year we had to teach effort and attitude early in the practices. This year we don't have to teach that. I mean, we've, we've got such good leadership, the effort and attitude has been already taught by them. So we're, we're more into timing and, and getting the plays down and understanding how we want to play. So that's why we're so much further along is, is we, we do not have to teach the effort and attitude this year. Do you have to teach shooting? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, and I, I asked that blunt question just because that's what we were always talking about last year. Right. Who's going to put, how are we going right. to put the ball in the hole? How are we going to score? 
you know, do you feel like your team's going to be bat better in that area? Well, this we'll year? be better shooters. Yes, we we kind of recruited to that somewhat, and uh, you know, you can even tell in the drills we, we shoot the ball better. Mm -hmm. You know, this team uh, is going to be led by those seniors, like you said, but Martel Collins and, and Amici Wells, you've chosen to do some different things with them this year. Can you go into that just a little bit uh, and, and and why you're uh, maneuvering them around just a little bit on the offensive side? Well, we kind of flipped their positions. Uh, Martel is going to play a three and Meech is going to play the four. There's not a lot of difference, a little bit. Uh, Martel is just a little bit better, maybe face up, got a little better feel with as far as passing and, and seeing the whole court. Meech is a little better to the rim guy. I mean, he's going to be a mismatch at the four. And he's a great offensive rebounder. I mean, he's relentless on the board. So, you know, we it, there's not a big difference, but we kind of flip flop their positions. Gotcha. So, early this season, um, you know, do you expect a little bit more from your team right off the bat that they don't have to, I don't know, uh, play into how to win? Maybe they win right off the bat this season a little bit more. I, how do you see it? Yeah, I. We've got a really tough schedule right off the bat. I mean, we play two teams from the MIAA. They're both top four or five teams in the league potentially mm -hmm. in Lindenwood and Kearney. Uh, then we open up with Arkansas Tech and Harding, and then we go on the road to play UCO. So we, we better be ready, but with experience and, and what we've got coming back, that's what you'd expect. So, yeah, we're going to be tested right out of the shoot. Can't wait for it, Coach. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, we Sean. appreciate it. Okay, Bob Batisi, the head coach of the Bulldogs. Here with Martel Collins. He was a second-team all-conference player for Southwestern Oklahoma State a year ago, leading scorer on the team. Appreciate you being here, man. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. Absolutely. You know, I, how does it feel different for you? We're just talking to Coach Batisti about having you as a second-year guy in the program. Does it? How does it feel different for you this year? Uh, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable being more familiar with his system as the year go on. So it's like more, it's more easy. Mm -hmm. You're a guy that, um, you know, that really uh, is well-rounded in a lot of ways. You're a, a good offensive player, a good rebounder, good defensive player as well. Where did you feel like you could improve in the off season? Where did you try to hone your skills? Being more consistent with my shot, ball handling, you know, the typicals free throws, just trying to better myself all around. So just taking everything up a notch Turning is what up. you're <laughs> looking for. I understand. What do you think about this team around you this season? Uh, you know, you, you've got the returners that we've talked about with Coach Batisti, and you've got some new guys coming in that are going to come in and contribute immediately. How do you feel about the, the group of guys you got right now? Uh, it's definitely a, a different feeling than I ever had you know, in the other team. It's, it's more unity and everybody is reaching for the same goal so it's like it just it's just a fun day every day to be around these new guys the old guys it's a good blend absolutely you know how does that help you be confident that you guys can I, I guess weather whatever storm comes your way because you know they're always ups and downs in every season I don't care what team you are you know they're gonna be those highs they can be those lows as well. Uh, when you got a tight group like that, how do you think it can help you through those lows? With uh, the leadership from me and the other seniors that we upheld, all the younger guys, it's, it just makes it easier for them to follow our lead. And if we slip, they slip. When you vision this season, what do you look forward to the most? Nice open-ended question for you. Cutting down the nets. You see in our locker, what's in there? Trying to win the conference. Wow. It says rings are not given, rings are earned, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what you guys are thinking about from yes, right sir. off the bat. We preach that every day. So what do you think it's going to take to get there? It's going to take every player on our team. Every player on our team is a, a part, and without them, it's, the goal is unreachable. Well, Martel, we wish you best of luck, man. 
Can't wait for the season to open. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's Martel Collins. Swasu opens the season exhibition portion of it on the road at Arkansas. That's going to be fun, right? Yes, sir. That would be a lot of fun. And then uh, another exhibition game before coming home and opening up, like Coach said, against uh, Lindenwood in, in that first week of the season. I think Nebraska Kearney as well at home for the Swasu Classic. Uh, John Little for Martel Collins and Bob Batiste, SwasuAthletics.com.